You might think I was joking with this thumbnail and this title, but I'm absolutely not joking. And in fact, it is one of the reasons why you should follow my channel if you're interested in the future and in Tesla. Because I was the first one. I was the first one on X and in the world who predicted Tesla is going to launch something many people thought is impossible, a flying car. And I will show you today the evidence that I was 100% right. And we have confirmation of a flying Tesla by the number one authority on Tesla. Spoiler alert, it's Elon Musk on record today. So first, let me get into what this discussion is all about. I, a long time ago, I said, my suspicion is the Roadster is going to fly. It's going to be a flying car because Elon hinted something about SpaceX and so on and so forth. And so I wrote the other day on October 30th, which was yesterday, that I think one reason I'm not going to short Tesla ever or have short calls in key events like November 6th, because I think they could pull a rabbit out of the hat. And one of the rabbits I'm thinking about, and I gave it yesterday a 10% chance. Here is exactly what I wrote. Here is exactly what I wrote. A word of caution, a word of caution, uh, and why I will not hold any short calls through November 6 and just keep holding my big, as a percent of my portfolio, long-term Tesla position. We will never know what rabbit Elon will pull out of his hat. And specifically, for example, something I put a 10% chance of happening on November 6, by the way, the time for flying cars has finally arrived, says Joe Bakti, that's me. And there's a reasonable chance in 15 years that tens of millions of them fly around. It could absolutely be that Tesla has prepared the Roadster to be flying, which wouldn't be that much of a big deal, but also decides, Tesla also decides to initiate a real world flying car program with a goal to reach tens of millions of flying cars by 2040 in 15 years. That would be a big deal. Now, do I think it will happen? I continued yesterday, 90% chance of no, because I was actually thinking about, well, I don't know if now is the right point in time or in one year or in two years, but it will happen and flying cars are inevitable and Elon knows it. Okay. So that was the conversation. Stay with me. I will reveal what actually just happened. Right. And then I got some commentary on this uh, here. Right. I got some commentary on it. Let's enter entertain the idea for a minute. What actually happens. Uh, let's entertain the idea for a minute. And then I actually responded to this. I give it a 10% chance right now, meaning 90% chance it's not happening on November 6. But this chance will keep increasing over time. In general terms, flying cars are superior in every way for obvious reasons, but many things need to work. Batteries, noise, total autonomy, regulatory, so it might be too early or not. And then there was a big discussion. Okay. Hey, if you want to stay ahead of capital markets and the next Tesla moves, join us in Pioneerlands. Here we track Tesla, capital opportunities, AGI disruption, and politics. It's your critical information advantage in the age of AGI. It's free and the link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. So until yesterday, I put a 10% chance on it, but I said on a first principle level, the time for flying cars has arrived and it's a no brainer for Tesla to lead the world into the flying car world. But people then pushed back and said, Joe, you're crazy. You have no idea what you're talking about. Elon said he's not going to do flying cars. You don't understand technology. But unfortunately, I do understand technology very, very well. And now I want to present to you guys this year. Okay. I want to present. Are you still doing the Roadster? Yes. Eventually. Um, we're getting close to demonstrating the prototype. Like and I think this will be, I, 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 one thing I can guarantee is that this product demo will be unforgettable. Unforgettable. How so? It, whether it's good or bad, <laughs> <laughs> it will be unforgettable. Um, can you say more? What do you mean? Well, you know, my friend Peter Thiel, um, you know, uh, w once re reflected that uh, the, the future was supposed to have flying cars, but we don't have flying cars. Oh, what, Elon? So you're going to be able to fly? Well, I, I mean, 
uh, I think if Peter wants a flying car, we should we should be able to buy one. Should be able to buy one. So you <laughs> are you actively considering making an electric flying car? Is this like a real thing? Well, we have to see in the in the demo. Do, yeah. So when you do this, like. <laughs> Are, are you going to have a retractable wing? Like, what is the idea behind this? Don't be sly. Come on. Well, I, I, I can't, I can't uh, do the unveil before the unveil. Um, but um, Tell me off air, then. I, 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 it ha look, I, I think it has a shot at being the most memorable um, product unveil ever. It has a shot. <laughs> and uh, when do you plan on doing this? What's the goal? Uh, w hopefully before the end of the year. Really? Yeah. Before the end of this year? This is, I mean, we're yeah, almost Yeah, like in November a couple 1st. months. Hopefully in a couple months. A um, couple of months. You know, we need to make sure that it works. Uh, like, this is some crazy, crazy technology we got in this car. Crazy technology. Crazy, crazy. So different uh, than what was previously announced, and yes. And is that why you haven't released it yet? Because you keep fucking with it. It has crazy technology. Okay. It, 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 like, is it even a car? I'm not sure. It's it, like it looks like a car. But it, it, let's just put it this way: it, it's it's crazier than anything James Bond. If you took all the James Bond cars and combine them it's crazier than that oh, very exciting <laughs> okay guys okay guys i wanted to show you that because you have to understand when i say something it's normally based on some very thought through reasoning and the thought through reasoning is flying cars are inevitable it's the first principle and elo knows about it of course, flying cars are superior. Everyone would have a flying car if you had flying cars. It's a technology problem. And the reason why I thought if they ever become viable, Tesla has to, of course, own it because it's the coolest thing ever and Elon will absolutely do it. And why it's viable now? Well, I know that because of two other companies. This here is Joby. I wanted to cover this in a different video, but now is the time. Here's Joby. This is a $12 billion publicly traded company with a cool founder, by the way. They are creating aerial ride sharing and they're creating flying cars. And it's $12 billion. Here's a competitor called Archer, which was founded, by the way, by the figure one CEO, the figure one founder, Brad Adock, Edcock. And this thing is much more crappy, by the way. It's worth, I think, five or six billion publicly traded. So the market has already decided the time of flying cars has arrived has done deep due diligence on battery capabilities and all kinds of things. But of course, these things are not, not the thing that will be the future probably. Okay, so my prediction, my 10% chance has just changed to a 100% chance that this is gonna happen in the next, let's say three to four months. It has reduced to a 0% chance it's gonna happen on November 6th, by the way. Also important for us when we trade the stock, but this becomes real. Tesla is building a flying car and that is the breaking news of today and it's completely nuts. I predicted it with a 10% chance and now it's becoming 100% chance over the next four months. This is nuts. This is insane. I said it. That's why you have to listen to Joe Bakhti's channel and Pioneerlands. Go to pioneerlands.net. We discussed the whole thing. It is a known thing that I was very convinced this is gonna happen. And when I say these things, by the way, I'm not saying it because I like flying cars and think that it should, just should happen. When I say things like that, these are real predictions. They're based on technology, conference of technology, of markets of demand, of economics, and of Elon's mindset. And so now that we know the cat is out of the bag, the roadster will be a flying car. Let that sink in. The next big question is, of course, is that just a joke? Is Tesla just gonna sink a few billion dollars into that and sell it to some people who like flying cars? Or is it something much, much bigger? And you can already tell the answer from my face. It's something much, much bigger. This is not a joke. All of Tesla will be repurposed, all of the car business, towards flying cars. Mark my words, this is exactly what's going to happen. All Teslas will be flying cars in 15 years latest. Regulatory environment, autonomy, all these things are coming in now. This will happen. 
Now, will Tesla announce it with the launch of the Roadster? Probably not, but they will probably ignite the fantasy. And you can be guaranteed the future is not just electric, but flying electric. So that was the breaking news for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is completely nuts, but it's happening. We have flying cars. Congratulations. That's why you hold Tesla shares. We will cover that in much more in depth, what it means for the stock and all the things that are happening. It's already completed in my brain. I have the whole roadmap mapped out, but this is going to come in the coming days and weeks. I hope you enjoyed that and see you very soon.